Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-458. Item, SCP-458 Object Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures, SCP-458 is considered safe and therefore is to be stored in the staff canteen at Site-17, with no access restrictions required. Description, SCP-458 is a large-size pizza box from the pizza chain Little Caesars, of their hot and ready variety. It is made of simple cardboard, measures 25.4 cm by 25.4 cm by 2.54 cm, 10 inches by 10 inches by 1 inch, and weighs about 20 to 20.49 grams depending on toppings. As a result of the unusual nature of SCP-458, measurement of weight is inconsistent. What makes SCP-458 an oddity is that, while appearing to be an ordinary pizza box, when it comes into contact with human hands, it instantaneously replicates within it the holder's subconsciously preferred choice of pizza, down to the favorite sauce, cheese, crust, and topping. It is not limited to the Little Caesars brand as pizza from all major pizza chains, as well as local and even handmade pizzas have been produced. There seems to be no limit to its ability, except that it cannot make anything but pizza, and its toppings must be edible by normal human standards. See Addendum 1A. The box is also rather indestructible, as all tests to destroy or dismantle the box have proven fruitless. It is assumed the box is semi-sentient, having at least enough telepathic or empathetic ability to sense what the holder's personal choices regarding pizza are. After constant testing showed SCP-458 seemingly infinite power to generate pizza, but with little other use, it has henceforth been placed inside the canteen at Site-17 for free use by personnel. After its open usage has been allowed, Personnel morale has shown to have sharply increased. Addendum 1A Upon testing SCP-458 with SCP-8, the subject took a bite of the slice, which appeared to be a garlic-free slice of sausage and olive pizza on wheat crust. This was met with the response it's a fine slice, but I would have preferred a rather different sauce. It was inferred that the box cannot use substances that are indigestible by regular human bodies. Further testing confirmed this. Addendum 1b. Please see document number 458-1a. Document number 458-1a. I would just like to remind all staff that just because we have a pizza box that can constantly create pizzas for you does not mean that you can just sit around and eat pizza all afternoon. If continued abuse of the box continues, coupled with reports of personnel gaining unhealthy amounts of weight, I may be forced to implement a mandatory physical training regimen following lunch hours. Dr. Del Moreno Document number 458-1b For simple curiosity's sake, and to, perhaps, get a better idea of the mindset of certain SCPs, I have compiled a list of sentient SCPs' reactions when holding the box. SCP Result SCP-040 Small, Extra Cheese Cheese stuffed crust. SCP 056 medium, sliced bell peppers, thin crust, Alfredo sauce. SCP 073 medium, feta and jack cheese, no sauce, thin crust. Almost immediately after opening SCP 458, the produced pizza began to go through symptoms similar to other organic material within SCP 073's effect radius. Experiment was retried, with the pizza being removed from SCP-458 immediately after its opening, with minor deterioration present. When queried by researchers, SCP-073 stated it had never ingested products created by SCP-458. SCP-076-2 Large, Meatballs, Pepperoni, Bacon, Canadian Bacon, 
sausage, hamburger, thick crust. SCP-105 small, olives, wheat crust, thin. SCP-108-1 large, pepperoni, thick crust. SCP-134 small, onions, anchovies, olives, thin crust. SCP-166 small, oregano, olives, no sauce, thin crust. After SCP-166 ate a slice of pizza from SCP-458, SCP-166 complained about occasional moderate discomfort and nausea. The effects stopped after approximately 20 hours. SCP-181 large, pepperoni, sausage, marinara stuffed crust. SCP-181 was told that this was a reward for good behavior, and that it was a lucky guess that it was his favorite type of pizza. SCP-182 medium, olives, mushrooms, pretzel dough crust. SCP-343 large, almost every topping imaginable, with over 100 distinct foods identified. SCP-378, SCP-378-1 SCP-378-1 produced a large thin crust pizza with pesto sauce, ricotta, mushrooms, and fried mealworms. SCP-378 itself could not activate SCP-458. SCP-3300-1 large, extra cheese and pepperoni, wet when removed from box. SCP-3477 medium, anchovies. All instances produced identical pizzas, with identically arranged toppings. Dr. Michael's large, Hawaiian, tomato sauce, honey-baked ham, pineapple, extra mozzarella cheese, with Tabasco. SCP-4504 medium, egg, bacon, barbecue sauce base, thick crust. SCP-4999 Extra Large, Half Supreme, Half Pepperoni SCP-4999 shared the pizza with D430276, who was suffering from end-stage renal disease. Notably, this was the same variety D430276 frequently shared with her late partner and the first known case of SCP-458 accommodating a pizza which exceeds its volume. POI-3445, SCP-5175-1 wielding SCP-5175, POI-3445 produced large pizza with mozzarella cheese stuffed crust, a barbecue sauce base, bacon bits, bacon strips, ground beef, ham, pepperoni, sausage, and a dusting of crushed chili cheese fritos. SCP-5175-1 contributed teriyaki sauce. Through POI-3445, SCP-5175-1 claims to have never tasted teriyaki sauce. It emerged as a modern fusion recipe and is not traditional Japanese cuisine. SCP-5175-1 acquired a liking for the source after conversation with POI-3445, who regularly ordered chicken teriyaki at the marketplace at Steamtown's food court. Further testing on the SCPs may reveal some odd characteristics about the SCPs themselves, and is suggested. Dr. Crane Update Further cross-testing is permitted but requires approval and supervision due to safety concerns. Dr. A Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.